Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at a or actually, actually answer a misconception about Lightroom. I talk to a lot of bridge users that maybe even own Lightroom and just haven't started using it or can't get their head around it because they think Lightroom is doing something weird to their photos and they're just so used to the way everything's in a folder and how Bridge can see what's in the folder. Well, we're going to talk about that and help some of those users transition from Bridge to Lightroom that want to. And just for the users that are not using Lightroom because they don't understand what it's really doing with the photos, we'll address that as well. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to give you a very basic example here. I have uh, a folder on my hard drive called Classic Cars. It is not in Lightroom. As a matter of fact, it's not even in my internal uh, main drive. It's in, an, it's in a second partition of that drive in a folder called Demo Files, in a folder called Photos, in a folder called Classic Cars. That's where I put it. Now, whether I put it there using just a drag and drop from the memory card reader or whether I use the photo downloader in Bridge, the bottom line is those photos are in a folder no matter how you got them there. Now, they're there. So how would I look at them in Bridge? Well, in Bridge, this is what people are used to. They're used to it being so easy that they can just drag the folder right on top of the Bridge icon, and Bridge will then display those images. And this is what Bridge does. This is what makes it so easy for people that want to use Bridge. Now, of course, I can hit Command-R on the Mac or Control-R on Windows, and I can get right into Camera Raw and start working with the RAW file. I can start uh, just doing things that I would like to do with the photo, such as renaming it. We've talked about that before in Bridge. Just all these cool, useful things you can do in Bridge. And that's what Bridge is really for. It's not just for photos. It's for all of your files to be able to do these quick, easy previews, full screen by hitting the space bar, all of the above. Great. Now, let's quit Bridge. So I'm no longer in Bridge. I just quit it. Now I'm back to the Finder back to that same folder of images. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Lightroom. And Lightroom opened up to my last catalog. And I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to create a brand new catalog. Now this is one of the extra steps that you do in Lightroom. I like to create catalogs based on the type of photography I do. So I have a landscapes catalog. I have a portraits catalog. I have a travel catalog. I have a uh, just think of these as just ways of organizing multiple photos that are similar. So, for example, let's create a new catalog. We'll create a new catalog and we'll call it Classic, Classic Cars Catalog. That way we'll know which one's which. And we can put it anywhere we want. It doesn't have to be in the same location. It doesn't even have to be on the same drive. You can put this catalog wherever you want to be able to access it from. So I'll just put it in the standard default location, which is the pictures folder in my main user account. Okay, so now Lightroom will temporarily close, open back up, and now we're in that classic cars catalog. So, so far so good. We did this one extra step, and you have to remember, where are the photos? They're where they always were. <laughs> They're back here in the operating system, on that drive, just sitting there. Okay, so now I want Lightroom to see them. Now in, um, in Bridge, I just simply drug the folder on top of the uh, Bridge icon, and it opened the folder in Bridge. Well, I wonder if I can do the same thing with Lightroom. Let's give it a try. So let's take that same folder, <clears throat> drag it onto the Lightroom, and look at what happens. It does it. It just comes up and says, okay, you apparently want to import these photos. And I think that's what throws people is the word import. You want to import these photos into your current catalog. Now, again, that throws people because in Bridge, there is no import. Bridge just simply looks at what's in that folder. However, in Lightroom, I need Lightroom's catalog to see that folder. Now I can do that a couple of different ways. 
since the photos are already on my drive. Here's the big catch. Here's the big thing. All I have to do is add them. I'm not going to move them, copy them, make any duplicates, put them in any weird place, have Lightroom do anything abnormal to them. Just let Lightroom know where they are. Now, that's the obvious choice if the photos are already on your drive, which is my case. I've already copied them from my hard drive. I've already copied or copy them from my memory card onto the hard drive. Now, if they were still on a memory card or still on the camera, then I would probably either do a copy as DNG or just a copy. Now, the difference here is if it were if they were JPEGs, I'd just do a copy. If they were camera raw, I like to do the copy as DNG because it kills two birds with one stone. It copies the images off the card, and it copies them into a non-proprietary format called DNG, which is an open standard. I don't lose any of my raw editing capabilities, but I get them in as DNG. So, I can do it either way. And by the way, you can do that conversion after the fact. You don't have to do it during the import. So whether you do a copy off the memory card or a copy, think of this as your photo downloader in Bridge getting the images off the card into a folder. What's this going to do? Get the images off the memory card into a folder and add them to Lightroom at the same time. So since they're already on the drive in a folder, all I have to do is the add. Now, if I don't do anything else, it'll just add them and show them to me. But if I want to do more, I can. I can, for example, apply what you would call camera raw settings, I would call Lightroom pre or develop settings. These presets allow me to adjust the photos as they come in. I chose none. Don't do anything. Just bring them in. I could also choose a metadata template. And again, I created one called Terry White Copyright. This allows me to go in and specify things like, you know, copyrighted by Terry White, city, state, so forth and so on. Again, I don't have to do that, but it saves me time by adding that metadata to the images as they come in. Lastly, if there are any keywords that I want to do, like cars, classic, Detroit, then I can go ahead and add those as well. And again, I don't have to do any of this. This is optional, but it's like one of those things where, well, if I'm going to do it later, why not do it now and have it done upon import? So now I'll go ahead and click import. And Lightroom now sees the images, just like Bridge saw the images. Where are the images? Where they always were and still are in the same folder. They didn't get moved. They didn't get copied. They didn't get put in some weird place. Lightroom has seen them in the same exact folder that Bridge sees them in. And it brings them in now with the keywords that I told it to add and all the other things. So, can I, here let's bring this back up. Can I see that in loop view? Yes, hit the letter E. Can I get rid of the bars on the side? Hit the tab key. Can I go to full screen? Hit the letter F. I can do the same kinds of things to see my images nice and big. I can do the same kind of camera raw adjustments in the develop module. I can do all the same things and many more things in Lightroom than I can in Bridge because Lightroom also gives me slideshow capabilities, printing capabilities, web capabilities, and several export and publishing options. So Lightroom, again, for photographers, but people that are trying to make that switch or just can't get their head around it, it's no simpler than just simply creating that catalog or using an existing catalog if you already have one that you like and adding the images if they're already on your drive or copying them from your memory card or camera. So that's it. There's no mystery. There's no, you know, hidden thing. There's not doing something weird to the photos that no more weirder than what Bridge would do. And the photos, best of all, are wherever you want them to be. So if you like your photos in an external drive, if you like them on a file server, wherever you like the photos to be, put them there and add them into Lightroom. Or copy them using Lightroom off your memory card and it will add them into Lightroom at the same time. So that's it for this quick episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. 
Again, just kind of solving one of those mysteries for people trying to make the switch from Bridge to Lightroom, where are my photos? And again, the reference here of a catalog, the catalog is the document that, sh that Lightroom uses to show you those photos. So if I go to another folder and add some more classic cars or other cars, they would be here in Lightroom. I would be able to see both sets of cars at the same time. But if we look over here on folders in this area, this is where that folder of five photos really is. It's telling me what drive it's on, what the folder is, any subfolders, how much space is even left on the drive, which is kind of nice. And no mystery, that's where they are. Okay, so that's it. Again, thanks for watching. Hope that solves or cures one of the mysteries of where are my photos when I put them in Lightroom. And again, Lightroom is just pointing to them. Now, one last little tip. The reason I, uh, one or many reasons, but one of the biggest reasons I like Lightroom over Bridge is because now, if I take that folder away, take unplug that drive that they're on or whatever, I'd still be able to open Lightroom and see these images. I just wouldn't be able to edit them because this is a database of what the image information is. The images are still in that folder, but Lightroom will still be able to see them, whereas Bridge would not. So that's just one reason why I would prefer to use Lightroom over Bridge for my photography. Take care. Have a good one.